Jeremy, come with me. All right. I need your help. Something's happening for him. The host guy? The very same. What are we going to do about it? The show can't go on without him. So what are we going to do about it? That's a VCR. It's a time machine. Pretty sure that's a VCR. I'm not going to bore you with all the details and how it works, what it does to your personal health. I feel like that's important. Just know you can use this to go and save Brian and the show. Murder. Unless Brian wants to watch some old tapes of Space Jam. Pretty sure this thing ain't going to help. Just press rewind. It's a little finicky at first, but you'll get used to it. Whatever you say, Carter. Whatever you say. Jeremy? Did you just time travel? Maybe. Where'd you get the VCR? It's a long story. Uh, what? What's today? Yeah, September 18th, 2012. 12. Yeah. So I guess it's not broken. No, it's a little finicky though. You said it would be. Who is it? Me. Oh, yeah. That's what makes time travel so complicated. Is it locked? It looks like it. You know who's in there? No. There's going to be two of you running around now. Like I saw that in the movie once. Someone really needs to give us a key. Why don't oh, no. you guys go check the newsroom? All right. I'll keep waiting. Where are you trying to go? Something happened to Brian. Now I have to figure out who did it. Hey, I know exactly where to start. You ready? Okay, well, I mean, you're the professional here. Ready? Wait, 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 what did I do wrong? No, no, does it need to be plugged in? No, of course not. Here, ready? My card was in here. What time is it? Like 5.30? No, what, when are we? Oh, uh, April 2011. Huh. Yeah. I'm still in high school. Me too. Let's, Let's go. go. Pregnancy. When she actually became pregnant with her own child, eight months after. Come on, people. But, you know, those Whoa, lady parts. look, it's Adam. They mystify each and every man they come in contact with. Oh, look, Brian over there. Well, that was the last pale and watch of the year, and I'm sad to see it go. Brian doesn't have a beard. Look at that ridiculous jacket. I like it. Me too. So we're going to camera three now? Brandon, don't talk so loud on the set. Oh, I forgot he doesn't know who we are. Brandon used to run camera. It really was a different time. Tell me. Adam used to host. Co-host. Huh. It's funny, he's not on the show much anymore. You don't think... He might be a little jealous of Brian, do you? Jealous of Brian? I'd be jealous of Brian. I've always wanted to host. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, let's get out of here. Who could be calling you right now? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What just happened? This is the last time I time traveled. I saved Casey from getting amnesia, but accidentally took him and Caitlin two weeks into the future. Oh, makes perfect sense. What? It's Adam again. I know. Casey. Spring 2012. Caitlin, he produced, and Brian did a man on the street every been week. Able to do the show what did you do? I napped a lot. Well, I guess you can all be on it now. Which is a good thing, because we were almost going to have Justina host. Which wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be good at all. Wait, wait. Steve's VCR. What the heck is this doing here? The time machine. Adam took the time machine. I wonder what he did with it. Did he time travel? 
Follow him, follow him. It doesn't matter if anyone sees him. They won't recognize you. Why aren't you faced by this? Caitlin, we've got a show to do. Looking VCR you got there. Thanks. Uh, you too. Hey, is that a VCR? Hey, hey, we gotta get out of here. We're living on borrowed time as it is. Time. Ten seconds. It's got a VCR. He said. VCR. It's a low budget show. Low budget show. Yeah, that's right. It really is a disgrace. Yeah, to it is a disgrace. Oh, hey, Jeremy. Perfect. I was actually hoping to talk to you because you know we've got that story about the uh, the interracial problem in Georgia, and I'm kind of worried about it because we're using the H word. Right, you know what I mean? Ridiculous. And since I'm a member of the black community, and oh. Standing right here. No, not that you. Th this you, the one I hit. Um, I don't know why you attacked Brian, though. No. No, that makes perfect sense. Hey, uh, any of you guys seen where the hell Brian went? Not down in the studio. We, uh, kind of got a show going on. Like, right now, there's a show going on downstairs. I don't know where Brian is or anything. Whoa! Carter, you have a twin? When you took me back in time with you to the spring of 2012 semester, I forgot to account for one thing. Well, the other me, the one with Casey and Caitlin at the desk, arrived from the future. There was already another me inhabiting that plane of time. So when you and I time traveled there together, there were actually three me's, all coexisting within the walls of Franklin Hall at once. When we split up, you must have accidentally encountered the wrong one, the one who had never time traveled, indigenous to that semester. You mistakenly brought him forward in time, hoping to return him from whence he had come. But instead, you overshot it and brought him here. You know, if I knew it was going to be this complicated, I wouldn't have asked. What happened to the Carter I took there in the first place? I'm glad you asked. Oh, God. Because there was an additional time machine, the one that Adam took from the desk and put on the chair, the moment I'd realized you'd left without me, I was able to use it to travel seamlessly back to my own time. And no one was ever the wiser. There's just one more thing. Ugh. Why did this, this you, yeah. do it? Early in the spring 2012 semester, I did a skit called The Carter Stanislaus Show. It was brilliant, raw, and innovative. And it was my first chance to really host something. Everyone agreed it was spectacularly hilarious, except for one person, Brian Presley. He didn't like it. He said it was okay. So with that wound still fresh, when my past self arrived here prematurely and saw that Brian was now hosting himself the whole show, it's pretty reasonable that he punched him in the face. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I'd do the same thing. I can't that poor, complain. That poor version of me on the floor has no idea that I would go on and host the agenda twice and do the Carter Stanislaus show a bunch more times. Oh. Whatever was in me at that time is long gone. I 
can now call Brian one of my best friends. And a real f***ing son of a bitch. Speaking of, do we actually know if Brian's okay? Oh, God, my head. Oh, Carter knocked me out with one punch. I'm not gonna tell anybody about this. Oh, oh. What are we gonna do with this one? I don't know. I guess when he comes to, I'll take him to Applebee's or TGI Fridays. I don't know. Who cares? Uh, but in the meantime, could you guys just throw him on the couch for me? Thanks. Gotta get back to the show. Thanks. Oh, oh. I think you got the lighter part of this thing like a giant infant. Oh. All right, ready? Now, the key is to lift, like, snap your back when you go up, all right? <laughs> all right, cool. Is he good like this? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't want him to walk away. I don't want to have to do this again. <laughs>